Jared, one of the owners, co-owners of CrossFit NapTown. We're going through right now discussing the uh, pool play, the ranking system. So what we're doing right now, you'll notice we have four different buckets down here in this position. Yes, they're all chalk buckets. We have seeds one through eight in this position here. And then we have the rest of the seeds throughout this position. So the next nine through 32 teams will be in these buckets. What we're going to do, we did our best using your, region, or your rankings through the Central East region to go through and fairly rank each team. Each affiliate only has one team inside a number one ranking. So that way uh, we're going to organize and spread this out as evenly as possible. So uh, a CrossFit Indy North team is not playing against all, or going against all Indy North teams. So we're trying to do this as fairly as possible. So right now we're going to go ahead and go through. As you can see, we have Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D. As we go through, I'm going to draw the first name. The first team is going to go in C number one, Group A. Second team is going to go Group B, C number one, and so forth as we go on. So here we go. First team, Group A. We got the Joko Jazzercisers. That's Group A. Group B, number one seed, CrossFit Dash. Group C, number one seed, oh, and two, oh, and one. CrossFit 317 Green. And Group D, number one seed, Indy North Neon Cherry. Indy North Neon Cherry. What comes after D? Group E. Group E, number one C. CrossFit Carmel, Team One. CrossFit Carmel, Team One. And Group F, number one C. CrossFit Clay United. CrossFit Clay United. Group G. Number one seed, Hoosier CrossFit. Hoosier CrossFit. And last but not least, we have Group H, the number one seed. It's all chalk stuck in this one. Yours truly, CrossFit for Naptown. CrossFit Naptown will be Group H, number one seed. And we just finished up with the number one seeds of each group, as you can see here. Every single group has a number one seed. We rank those teams one through eight, randomly drew, all filled up throughout. What we're going to do now is move on to the nine through 32. Again, these were not seeded teams. You can see the buckets here, chalk buckets as we go out or, or choose out of. Um, they're not seeded. There is no special rank here. They're randomly placed throughout, the, throughout all these buckets. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through and fill up each one of these groups. So it's going to go Spot number two, spot number three, and spot number four for group A, and spot number two for B, three and four for group B, and throughout. If you're familiar with the World Cup um, and the drawing or the live drawing, how this works, there's usually a group of depth, so to speak. What that means is sometimes there's a drawing with three or four within a group of four. There may be two, three, even four top 12 teams in the world within that group. It's just through, through that random selection. So don't be surprised right now if we have three teams from CrossFit Naptown or three teams from Indy North or Finish Line or whatever the gym may be, there may be more than just one team. And that's the random part, the group of death of this whole entire uh, selection here. So it is up to you to make it out. Top two teams in each group will make it out. So it's up to you and your team throughout day one to be one of the top two teams in each bracket or in each group to make it to day two. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, group A, spot number two. We've got Indy North Force. I'm going to do my best to place it up there. We're going to write all these down here eventually. Spot number three, Group A. Fire Breathing Rubber Duckies from CrossFit Naptown. Pretty sweet name there. And the fourth and final spot for Group A is Reebok CrossFit Finish Line Team Jam. If I recall correctly, that's 
part finish line, and part crossfit nets on. Now we're going to move to group B. Spot number two for group B is Holy Wall Balls Batman. CrossFit Nap Town. Group number, or spot number three for group B is Team Ronin. Ronin, Ronin, Team Ronin, with the correct CrossFit Nap Town. And last but not least, spot group number four, or sorry, spot number four for group B is CrossFit East Indy. So we have two Naptown teams in there, CrossFit Dash and East Indy. So we're going to move on to group C. Spot number two is Reebok CrossFit Finish Line Team Real Flex. Spot number three is oof, CrossFit Finish Line Classics. So we're going to have a little finish line battle in that group. Maybe we, you guys can train together, getting after each other. And spot number four for Group C, Team 180. Team 180, this is your first team. There are two teams. We're going to move on to Group D. Spot number two, Below Parallel, CrossFit Naptown. Spot number three, Group D, CrossFit Finish Line Kamikaze. We'll do our best to get that up there a little bit. Spot number four for Group D, X or XF824. I believe this is uh, Notch 8 now, is now affiliate, otherwise they were once placed under unaffiliated. So, Jake Sharp, please update me on that. We can get your name, uh, team name changed as well. Group E, spot number two. CrossFit 317 Black. Group E, spot number three. Indy North Savage. And fourth seed for Group E, 0.5, combined with CrossFit Thrive and a few from CrossFit Naptown as we go through. Group F, spot number two, Naptown Black. We'll see what else we select here. This could be a group of death that we've been waiting for. Next up. Team DMO across from Naptown. And the fourth spot for Group F is Indy North SLED, Indy North Sled. I believe that's initials. That does look like a pretty, pretty good group. Uh, pretty tough group, I should say. Group G, spot number two. We've got CrossFit Carmel Team 2. And again, remember, these are the teams you're going to be competing against in day one that you need to beat out. Group, uh, sorry, spot three, Group G, Team 180. This is your second team. Didn't have another team name for this, so Team 180, number two. And the fourth and final spot for Group G is CrossFit Naptown MMRS. Again, those are initials because I didn't have a team name, so if you want that changed, um, I will email you. And well, last group here, Group H. We already have CrossFit for Naptown, and we have CrossFit Naptown 545 and some. Spot number two. Spot number three, CrossFit Zionsville. And the final team for the 2013 CrossFit Naptown Bracket Buster of Group H. Those of you who are still watching this and haven't been selected yet, you know you're on there. It is Team Pumps CrossFit Finish Line. There we have it. All 32 teams selected, put into their uh, pools, and these are the teams we're going to be going against.
for the 2013 CrossFit Naptown Bracket Buster. Need to be a top two to advance.